New tonight, a dog nearly frozen to death. Natasha Williams is here with how he was saved by a whisker. Natasha? Well, Jack, the woman who found this dog says it was strictly luck that she spotted him as she drove out of an alley around 5th Street. The dog on Natalie Sage's couch seems right at home. It was bleeding from when the ice started coming off, blood started leaking. She's talking about his paws, likely frostbitten, but take a closer look. The dog is skin and bones, extremely underweight and malnourished. Natalie found him early this morning, shaking, shivering, and laying in a pile of ice on Brown Street near an abandoned building. When Natalie found the dog she's calling Lucky, he was literally frozen to this pile of clothes. She said she thought it was trash, and then she saw something move. They were frozen to him. His feet were frozen solid with pads of ice and mud. He was, yeah, he had an inch of ice on him. I thought he was a gray dog because of all the ice and mud that was all over him. She did the only thing she could do, brought him here, warmed him up, and thawed him out. Huh? And now he's looking and apparently feeling a lot better, and that's more than she can say about how she feels about the person who dumped him. I cried. I did. I want to cry now, but he's okay. He's going to be fine, no thanks to whoever left him out there like that. That's just cruel. It is so cold out here. Cruel and against the law, but unfortunately, animal abandonment is on the rise, and for no good reason. Sheila Marquest is with the Humane Society. Um, we have three shelters here just in Montgomery County. She says all it takes is a phone to get help, and Sage agrees. She says it's just about doing what's right. I mean, and I have no means whatsoever to take care of these animals. I can barely take care of myself and my family, and... I still will find something like today I took my money for my phone and instead of having a phone this month I'm helping this animal. Now Lucky, that's what she's calling him, the dog that you saw Natalie with, is her second rescue dog. She rescued her current pet 10 years ago. Now Sage, she says, is fat, furry and happy and she says that's what she wants to do for Lucky. She wants to make sure he has the same kind of chance at life. Now a list of resources, we'll have those for you on our website.